What's good, YouTube and I just your man TV. Welcome to another edition of Lords of the Box Office, who will review movies. This week's movie is Bloodshot, the Vin Diesel Sony Entertainment Valiant Comics adaptation of Bloodshot. First appearance in Bloodshot Zero, done by Valiant Comics. I interesting uh, i'll give you a little backstory about my movie going experience i saw this over the weekend so obviously with the all the news of the coronavirus covid 19 stuff going on um regal and amc theater where i saw the movie at had a kind of self-imposed self-quarantine rule where they were only selling 50 percent of the tickets so essentially if a theater fit 100 people after 50 tickets were sold it's considered sold out so knowing that you you know they were doing social distancing so you would have more space blah blah blah. uh unfortunately there wasn't hardly any but anybody in my theater let alone uh the entire you know theater complex itself the amc and and tusting at the district so my theater was maybe 20 30 percent full uh the entire th and all the other theaters there wasn't many people matter of fact in the concession stand it was funny i've never seen so many people clean up at a movie theater before literally they were spraying everything in the bathroom the countertops there was one point we ordered like a hot dog and I was waiting for it and I had my soda and my popcorn right there on the counter and the guy was like spraying everything around me I like had to pick myself out and move it I was like dude you're gonna spray disinfectant on my popcorn it was it was just interesting it was it was surreal but anyway I went in and I saw it and you know what that's not a bad movie man uh I know the Rotten Tomato scores are from one end to the spectrum to the other Critics gave it like 33%. Uh, users gave it 80%. I'm probably right in the middle there, but I'm going to lean toward it's a better film than what people are giving it credit for. I think the knowing that the movie cost $45 million to make, it definitely did not feel that way. It felt like a bigger budget film. Uh, the direction, the cinematography, special effects were really good for a movie with such a small budget, I thought. Um, the story is... It's just say, you know, if you really think about it, there's some major, major plot holes. But, you know, if you just think about it as, a, you know, a comic book movie, a little escapism, it's pretty fun, man. I mean, it's Vin Diesel, some great action set pieces, some great uh, fighting, some cool villains, some cool gadgetry, some cool tech. Essentially, uh, if you know the history, it's a it was a soldier, special forces, Ray Garrison, who gets into this government experiment. He's got nanites inside of his body, kind of self-generation and then all kinds of other stuff. It doesn't follow the origin story to a T from the comic books. Um, and it really, it goes from zero to 60 in that. I mean, there is not much backstory to it at all. I mean, it jumps for a minute and 50 minute running time. It takes 10 minutes to start explaining stuff and it gets right into it and it's action from, from beginning to end. Um, some of the origin, I would probably like to see a little bit more to flesh out the character more, but basically it's Vin Diesel. Uh, it's basically Dom from the Fast and the Furious as Bloodshot as, as I took it, but it's pretty good. I mean, I had a good time with it. You know, it's not nearly as bad as what critics are saying. So with that, I'm going to give it a CGC grade of like a, an 8.0 is what I'm gonna say. It's probably better than some of the most recent movies that have been out there. Uh, Birds of Prey, I'm still looking at you. Um, you know, and Vin Diesel was probably built to do this role. I mean, you know, he doesn't have much dialogue. Uh, there's a lot of good action. Like I said, the special effects are pretty well done for a movie that only cost $45 million to make. So, and unfortunately it's just bad timing that the movie came out with all the self uh, quarantining and the coronavirus stuff going out there. Cause it's probably going to bomb at the box office. Cause frankly, anything going on, there wasn't even a lot of people seeing onward at the theater, which is the big Pixar release that came out. So with that, there you go, man. I gave it a CGC 8.0. So go out and see it, man. You could, What are you going to do? You'll probably finish Netflix and Amazon Prime by now. Go out and see a movie, you know. Help out local theaters and vendors and stuff, you know, because uh, everybody's hurting right now in this economy. So till next time, boys and girls, keep digging in on long boxes. Peace out.